Hey everybody, it's Chad, and today I'm going to be welding up one of these D20 dice from 42fab.com. They come like this. So if you're one of the people who watches my channel who's a Langmire owner, you could probably cut these out yourself. It's made from 14 gauge. If you don't have one and you just want to practice welding, this is a great tool that you can use. I think there's 60 inches of welding practice on here, and I called up Peter Zila and asked him for what settings he used uh, and just got some advice from him on how to weld it. When I welded this one, I was doing all uphill welding just simply because I could see better. Uh, and he told me that if I wanted to flatten out these welds, I needed to go downhill. So new settings and welding downhill, we'll give it a shot and see how we do. So let's get started. Well, it looks like I'm going to be doing a little bit of voiceover here. I lost the audio on these tracks. Let's start by folding along the red lines down the middle. You only want to put a slight bend in until these two ends meet. Next, you're going to want to put a tack in the middle of the two sides that you just matched up. And you'd want to do that rather than actually putting it on a corner because once you weld the corner, it's fixed in place and any kind of manipulation of the top or bottom isn't going to be possible. All right, now you want to start bending in the top and just pick one side and just start slowly going around, bending it just a little bit at a time. That way you don't overbend any one of those sides because once you bend them in, you don't want to have to keep doing that. Eventually it'll break. Once you get to a point where the ends are bent in, you're going to notice that some of them are going to be tight and some of them are going to be large gap. What you want to do is just get a hammer and bang on the corner of the side that has overlapping or touching triangles. This will spread them out and eventually you'll get to a point where it's pretty even, but you're always going to be a little bit imperfect. Be okay with that because it'll give you opportunity to weld areas that are tight as well as areas that have a little bit of a gap in them. Well, after a little bit more adjusting, I finally got it to a point where I I was happy and you can see here I'm gonna weld the very top of this just to lock it all in place now flip it over and do it all again on the bottom side go ahead and tack it back up
boom, boom. That's a beauty. All right, so here's the finished thing. Now, uh, just a note, I did grind this with a uh, wire brush. If you're doing that, I used vice grips uh, to hold that on each side as I was doing it. If you have a vice, that would work too. So here's what I, this is one of my first welds and I thought it was like amazing. I was really happy. And then, uh, you know, I had some other welds that I thought looked good but as I uh, progressed and the metal got hotter, uh, I noticed that I wasn't moving fast enough. And I have no idea. Maybe I was holding it at the wrong angle uh, or I had the nozzle too far away. But obviously, I still have a lot of work to do. If you have any feedback, obviously, I am not an expert. I'm not pretending to be. I am learning how to weld. And I feel like I'm getting better. But at the same time, let's see. Just to give you an idea, this was the, this was the first one, and I had no idea of settings. I was trying stuff that was way slower, and I'll post the settings that I used uh, earlier in the video. So, but that was the first one. This was actually my second one, and again, like I said before, I was going from the bottom up, and I got these really really thick welds, which obviously. If you're gonna do something that looks somewhat artistic you want that flatter weld so uh, even though I think this looks pretty good as far as like the lines are straight they're pretty even throughout uh, it's just way too way too wormy looking and this is the one I did uh, between this between the one I did today and the wormy one and I was trying to work out settings and trying to get my uh, view so I could see, and I had, I had, like I said, I had some good welds. Uh, I was pretty happy with some of these welds, but at the same time, you know, I'd have a, an issue like that. So that's why I bought this kit. I, uh, I got the 12 pack. They were on sale when I bought them. Uh, they're not on sale now, but uh, I do have a discount code and I believe it's just man crafting. So uh, I don't, even I couldn't tell you off the top of my head what the actual discount is but I'll look it up and I'll put that in the description and yeah I just want to say thanks to Peter for giving me a little bit of uh, on the phone advice uh, I'm gonna actually see Peter next weekend I'm going up to HDP for some training so hopefully uh, when I get back I can do a comparison and I'll probably just post those on my Instagram if you like this kind of content please subscribe hit that like button and thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments or advice, please drop it down in the comments. I'm, I'm just trying to learn. That, that looks pretty good right there. I'm pretty happy with that. Why didn't they all look that way? Or that way? Or that? Or that? I'm about 50-50 here. Thanks everyone.